in our economic analysis it is suitable to know the interpretation of the Lagrangian multiplier we have done the uh, Lagrangian method of uh, constraint optimization but we need to make more sense of it it is introduced by Joseph Lagrange who was uh, a mathematician with French origin and here we will see that how it can be meaningful for us this Lagrange multiplier what if we want to predict the impact of per unit change in the constraint on the objective function this is what Lagrangian multiplier tells us that if there is per unit change in the constraint value what will be the change in the objective function so th this is a const uh, this is the objective function and this is the constraint that we are assuming and uh, if we solve them we will get these values I'm not solving it here I want you to do this this is a do it yourself for you because we have done this uh, simplification before in the last video we did this so you can refer to that so once we solve this using the Lagrangian multiplier method we will get these two critical values and this uh, value of lambda which is the Lagrangian multiplier now we should try to interpret this this is that one unit increase or decrease in the constant of the constraint that is this would cause z that is the objective function to increase or decrease by approximately 348 units so this 48 this 348 is being interpreted here uh, so in other words if I make 56 57 then there will be this much of increase in the objective function this is what it is telling me that the constraint if it is increased by one unit what will be the change in the objective function it will change by 348 units approximately so for this I should try to find out the value of z in the current situation with 56 as the constraint so for that I substituted the value of x status y status in, in, uh, in all those places and we found that uh, under this constraint the value of the objective function the optimized value of it would be this much now let me do the per unit change here as I said that if I increase or decrease the constraint by one unit I will get the value of lambda as the differential of the objective function optimized value so this is that objective function this is the constraint now this is not 56 anymore now this is 57 so we have brought a change in it which is equal to 1 and now uh, we can solve this again by using the same procedure of Lagrangian multiplier method so when you will solve it you will get this critical value and that critical value this will be the value of lambda so now you can use these two uh, values critical values to find the value of z and c that how much it has changed so um, I have substituted x status and y status here the new values of uh, x and y as the critical values and I found the value of z to be this much now this is the critic uh, this is the optimized value of z in this case this is after per unit change in cost is in the constraint and this was the original one so what is the difference between the two let us calculate the post change or after one unit change and the original one this is the post change value of z and this is the pre change value of z the difference is 351 which is approximately close to 348 and 348 was actually the value of lambda here so you see that it is getting verified that the value of lambda actually guides us about what will be the change in z once if we bring one unit change in the value of the constraint and it is getting verified with some approximation so some economic instances that we might confront in our economic analysis would be that we do the utility, utility maximization subject to budget constraint this is the utility function this is the budget constraint and lambda will 
estimate the marginal utility of an extra PKR or dollars of the income. So lambda is going to tell us that if we change this budget by one unit, what will be the level of the utility? How much it will change? And in case of uh, output maximization, we can see that if one unit uh, change happens in the constraint, what will be the change in the objective function of output? So this is what we get if we calculate the value of lambda by applying the Lagrangian multiplier method in case of an economic situation or any mathematical situation. So this was the interpretation of Lagrangian multiplier method both in mathematical situation as well as in the economic situation. Thank you.